This year, the U.S. Department of Energy joins the world in marking the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. The theme of this year's celebration at DOE is Action for Earth. This video message celebrates you, our talented and dedicated workforce, and provides just a sample of your accomplishments in stewardship and conservation of the Earth's precious natural resources as you continue fulfilling the department's critical mission. For Savannah Riverside, we don't just celebrate Earth Day as one day. It's a culture. It's a lifestyle here. Our Earth Day mission is to protect the environment for future generations through environmental stewardship, innovative technology, national security, energy independence. What are we leaving behind is, is not all the infrastructure we've had over the decades of Hanford, but we're leaving behind the ecological resources. We're leaving behind species that people can't see in town. We're leaving behind plants that aren't available anywhere else but on places like Hanford. To me, that's the real legacy of Hanford. We actually feed naturally occurring bacteria in the aquifer and then as the water flows through and the contamination flows through that bacteria they tear apart the contaminants and at the back end of, the, of, of that zone is clean water. We were tasked to dispose of two tanker cars. Uh, we actually think they were purchased in 1941 uh, to be used by the U.S. Army and uh, rather than dispose of those we were able to take those tanker cars and remove those from Y-12 and give those to the Southern Appalachian Museum as a donation. This was a wonderful example of something called upcycling. We were able to take an experiment at Brookhaven, transport it to Fermilab National Laboratory, and create greater value by repurposing a scientific facility. And it actually saved taxpayers and the Department of Energy over $27 million. Jeff Brown at the Idaho National Laboratory was inspired by the solar technology on semi-trucks in his family's agricultural hauling business. His innovation and determination paid off when INL agreed to pilot the technology on five laboratory motor coaches. Especially here at the INL, we do many tours or we load in people. We set for 45 minutes, we set for three hours on a tour. To keep the bus comfortable, the driver is always starting the bus, keeping it cooled down, keeping it warm. The no idle system is expected to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and fuel use, saving an estimated $1,800 annually per motor coach. Across 80 coaches, this could add up to big savings for the lab, for DOE, and for the planet, thanks to Jeff's idea from his family's trucking business. At Argonne National Laboratory just outside of Chicago, an employee suggestion blossomed into Argonne's fun and popular bike share program. Now in its 12th year, Argonne's Bike Share program offers employees a fleet of 150 bicycles to save greenhouse gases as they pedal their way across campus. NETL's Technology Support Center features a living roof that helps control building temperature and conserve water. The vegetation causes the roof to absorb and hold the sun's energy, releasing the heat when the air cools. The RSF is our flagship net zero energy project. The RSF also incorporates a, a large PV array for offsetting all of our energy use. We have a living laboratory in our high performance building and this is to transform the commercial building sector. We have a supercomputer in the ESIF, the most efficient, if not the most efficient, computer in the world. The Nevada National Security Site is DOE's most remote site given its defense related nuclear and national security missions. The site has also been home to some of the first Energy Star buildings in the DOE complex several lead recognized and high performance sustainable buildings, as well as the first net zero energy building in NNSA. Environmental stewardship is a vibrant part of the laboratory's governing policies. Environmental projects include bird banding, understanding butterfly migration habits, and protecting endangered species. At the Oak Ridge Reservation in Tennessee, site managers from three major facilities and programs work together to implement a comprehensive natural resources management system covering 32,000 acres. The diverse reservation, including forests, fallow fields, cedar barrens, wetlands, and other ecosystems, has to be managed actively in order to protect the diversity of native species and resources. Most of Moab is wild and scenic, and then we have this tailings pile here on the river. After an area has been remediated, we are occasionally left with areas of saline soil. So we are able to use our downed tree branches and weed material. We turn it into compost. 
And so revegetation crew will come in and plant and seed native uh, shrubs, forbs, and grasses that are uh, resilient to this desert ecosystem. We've seen the return of many pollinator species as well as many native uh, wildlife species. Earth Day, for a number of reasons, is really important, especially in my generation, because this is all that I've grown up knowing. I think it's something we, we promote, not just because we have to or because it's good publicity, but because we know that we only have one Earth. What started as a dream became a daily choice. Our random